Hi guys, it's Peter and welcome to our channel. Today I'm gonna show you something quite interesting, but not in a good way. Pretty much you have to be aware that problem do exist and make sure it will not happen with you as, as, as it did happen with me. Uh, pretty much this Amiga 1200, it come with uh, Kickstarter 3.0. I bought a set of uh, 3.1, I install it but i didn't recognize it when i installed it well the chip itself did go kind of kind of tight a little bit a little i should say tighter than it should be and then a few weeks later i decided to go with uh 3.1.4 right there's a set of ships and when i start removing my old ones those ships doesn't want to come out I mean, I was using a proper tool, then I recognized it, it's so hard, I almost gonna rip it or suck it from board. Of course, I have to use a screwdriver from underneath and kind of primary from both sides. Basically what's happened, let me show you a good set of uh, chip. I mean, never been used before. Maybe it was been used before in a socket, but never been soldered to a board. And this 3.1, it been soldered to the board. You guys can tell how pin looks on a brand new ship, nice and clean. On a used one, uh, it covered with solder. The thing is, a lot of companies when they flashing, uh, I mean, uh, I mean the Kickstarter or any other firmware to a ship, they using that prompt ship, whatever it's called, and they use it whatever they can get. Sometimes it's a brand new ship. Sometimes it's uh, uh, from recycle, like like this guy. And when it has bunch solder, those pins will not slide in, in in or slide in and out to a socket as easy as a brand new chip. And let me show you what's happened. When I was inking, even I did repeat one one uh, leg or one pin. Same thing, covered with solder. And if they clean it from from outside, but inner part. You can tell there's a, mu a much more, kind of looks to me, much more uh, solder left. And the socket, it's the point what socket you have, it has like single sided, double sided, and double sided like this guy, it's it's the best socket you can go probably. And But the problem is when you start, when you pull in, push it in, it will, I mean, if it's going too tight, it will go, eventually it will get there. When you pull it out, those uh, pins or jaw, it looks like a, almost like a jaw bite. It will bite it to a solder because a solder is mo more softer, ma softer material and it will get in and that's what happens. It will, it will pull part of a connector out. You see like this over here, this over here. I mean the socket, it's still usable. With tiny screwdriver you can push it back. Uh, but probably it's gonna replace it anyway, the, uh, those two sockets. But that's the extra step you, I mean, you have to go after all. I mean, because now if I try to put new ship, I may damage those, uh, those pins or damage it a new chip. Pretty much guys, uh, my advice when you're buying a Kickstarter, especially if you're planning in future to take it out, uh, put different uh, Kickstarter set or so, I mean, older, newer, it doesn't matter. You have to be aware if a uh, chip already been used and covered it with solder. Try it clean, it's as clean as possible. Maybe with tiny file, just uh, file it down, make sure it's nice and smooth. Or uh, you have to accept it's a one-way ticket. I mean, it's not 100% one-way ticket, but uh, I hope it will not happen like it did happen on my uh, motherboard. Well, guys, uh, pretty much, that's it for this video. I hope it was uh, useful, enjoyable. If you guys did enjoy it, thumbs up. If you don't want to miss any future videos, subscribe. We will be really appreciate. Thank you.